Harpo, who this man? Sitting down with Tasha K, dishing all this ish on Will and Jada. Is this a friend of 40 years or a disgruntled employee now looking for his own spotlight? Free Willie, please. Relationship. Will was not my friend. I was his friend. I was around before they had Trey. Jada was the woman that everybody wanted. And Will needed that validation to have that type of woman. You saw her say that Will Smith had a small dick? Oh, I am saying to you, if a woman is used to something the size of a baby leg and you come in with a pinky toe, there's nothing you can do to please her. You can buy her 80 cars. You can get her 80 private jets. If she's itching for that baby leg, she want that baby leg. You can beat a person so much that they fall into submission. And who needs enemies when they got friends like you? Oh, I could tell you what goes on in, in, on the inside. Everybody else is just speculating. Oh, right. What do you I'm say sorry. about the allegations? The There's like, you know, like on. so many rumors. Anything Keep you want to say, we still it. I know that's right. And now, for the moment, all you motherfuckers been waiting for. All my flip mode niggas rise. And away for the most powerful event to occur. The coming. Not talking about Will or his hyena overlord. This is about black fucking Hollywood. Black motherfucking Hollywood. Not even talking about Tasha Kay's bum ass because she's reading like an op after Cardi B dropped the lawsuit. Make that shit make sense without admitting Tasha Kay is an op. No. I'm talking about the little fat peanut head motherfucker sitting there in front of the maven of Chitlin Circuit Black YouTube. Hey nigga, you ain't no motherfucking friend of Will Smith. You're a bottom feeder lurking in the shadows looking for a turd you can cash in for a buck. Negroes like this make me long for the days of Jimmy Hoffa and the spacious nature of mafia trunks. Sometimes I feel like blaming Eddie Murphy for shit like this. He was one of the first celebrities I noticed moving with large groups of disposable niggas followed by MC Hammer. Kings keep your circle small. The ideal size would be between two to four people and no more. Dump any bitch who brings a deluge of friends into your social circle by way of a supposed relationship. Keep watch over your kingdom and fumigate any dissidents. Seriously, people need to be pounding the fucking pavement looking for this dusty dude, if for nothing else just to keep tabs on the bitch. Seriously, fucking around with a bunch of niggas in your circle is inviting chaos into your life. Trim out gossips and bullshit, even if it means firing your bitch. This fat, gumdrop, head-looking ass nigga popped up straight out of that Eddie Murphy show, The PJs. That lawsuit needs to come with a side of broken hip. So, this bum got a few pics with Will Smith, and I notice in every one of those photos your boy looked blazed out or drunk as fuck. Will had a sus security detail back in the day, because any decent bodyguard would have never let this fool into the room. By the way, who cares if Will Smith is gay? Nobody. His trauma life partner has utterly ravaged the man's good name and reputation for all time to come, and bitch is still trying to quantify that shit and make him the bad guy despite the egregious actions of that demonic imp he married to his great shame and utter doom. What's left for him to give beside his wallet? I don't care what he did to get the bag in Hollyweird. I just wanted to see him in good movies. And I couldn't even look at the one he won Best Picture for because of said demonic imp. Now we have a living hemorrhoid running his rot mouth about what's below Will Smith's belt. Some zesty vulture Tasha K probably didn't vet as she works on discounting all Cardi B's goodwill and acknowledgement of the sisterhood on her way to another lawsuit. Fuck the minority majority and chitlin circuit YouTube for this never-ending parade of disgraced black men. But hey, we've got an election year coming up and this is par for the course. Next time, Tasha K can ask that pimple motherfucker if he shakes Will Smith's dick after he takes a piss or wipes his butt after he takes a shit. You see kings, when I'm using my dick, the only one around is me, or the female I'm banging. That's it, finito. Ain't nobody sitting in the corner of the room trying to check out how I use my equipment. It's sus as hell for some barnacle nigga to be talking about another man's bedroom politics. Maybe Tasha K can ask that zesty blackface pugsley looking nigga if he fucked that waste of space demonic imp Will's attached to in a sham marriage. Shit. Keep your circle small, almost non-existent. You never know who's there with a knife waiting to stab you in the back. I put that on God. S-Y-S-B-M means save yourself black men. Oh please, Mr. Barroom Brawler. Don't hurt me or anything like that. Huh?